Hey, card runners, this is Chuck Bass, and you are more than welcome to viewing my advanced MTT hard series. This is also the first ever theory video series that I'm doing, and I'm probably even more curious than do you are about how this is going to turn out, so let's hope for the best. Um, I am going to warn you in advance that this is going to be some really heavy stuff. There's going to be very little action and a ton and ton of talking and a lot of numbers in this video series. So if you if you have the mindset right now that you just kind of want to sit back and relax and watch some poker hands being played, learning something, you should probably watch something else and save this for when you really have have that feeling that you want to, I don't know, learn something new, because this is going to be some rough stuff. So anyway, I've been asked to do this for quite a while, and to be honest, it took me the longest time to get this done, because it's such a lot of work to just do this whole presentation, which by the way isn't even going to be that awesome, because me and PowerPoint aren't exactly best friends. But it's going to be good enough visually for sure and uh, without further ado let's see what we're doing here so uh, before we begin before viewing this video series what I expect you to already know is well first of all I I expect you to be a user of Holy Manager 2 um, if you use Poker Tracker, I'm sure that there's a bunch of stuff here that you can import more or less directly into Poker Tracker, but I don't know first thing about that program. I don't have anything against Poker Tracker, it's just like I randomly, probably pretty much randomly made the choice between the two ages ago and have been using Holy Manager ever since. So um, yeah, this is for Holy Manager 2, but I'm pretty sure that there's a lot of stuff here that you can use in any program you use. Um, I expect you to have basic knowledge about HUDs. Like, I expect you, you to know what like VPIP and PFR means and like basic stuff like that. I expect you to have a, some kind of HUD setup already. I'm not going to teach you how to build one. I'm expecting you to have, have some idea what pop-up HUDs are and maybe having played around with them a little bit. I expect you to have a, some kind of idea about Note Caddy as well. If you don't, you can pretty much just like Google and like go to the Holy Manager site and just study Note Caddy for like 10 minutes and that'll be enough if you haven't ever used that before. And uh, what you should expect from this series, like I said before, this is going to be a very, very theory heavy series. There's going to be a reasonable amount of math involved. There's going to be a lot of number crunching. Um, the stuff that I think and hope will be the most useful for you in this series is going to have a lot of lot to do with exploitative play and stuff like auto profiting and what I'm really trying to do here is to sort of tackle your brain a little bit because I think that when it comes to HUDs, and I'm going to sh show this soon in, in more detail, I think that a lot of people basically might even have like the, the correct stats, but they are either using them wrong or they have possibly laid them wrong for themselves so that they are not using them as effectively as possible. So you should expect from the series to both to learn some new stuff about HUD because I've got a couple of pretty cool things that I think almost no one has. I, I mean, I don't know, maybe you're the outlier who has all the same stuff and you're going to get angry at me in the comment box going like, hey, I just spent three hours of my life watching this shit and I knew everything. But I think that's quite unlikely for most of us anyway. And... Uh, I feel quite confident that if you watch this whole series, you're going to lift your ROI by a couple of percent at least, if you really digest it. And the most importantly, if you don't just copy everything I do and say, but like actually think about it on your own and 
maybe do a few changes instead of just copy pasting and doing the whole thing.